The biggest lesson I learned was being prepared. In order to succeed in any business, you have to find a need you can feel better than anyone else and fit the demographics of where you are. And so, actually what I do every single month, and I've done it my entire career ever since I started to break records, and I do a six-week action plan. So every month, halfway through the month, I book off four hours. It doesn't matter whether you do it at midnight to four in the morning or noon to four, it doesn't matter. But book off four hours and work on your business not in it, work on your life not in it. And so you bring a plan of what's gonna happen over the next six weeks. I always do it halfway through the month so I actually overlap. What's gonna happen over the next six weeks? How can I maximize on every appointment, every single experience? Who should I be talking to? Who should I be learning from? What do I need to be prepared in order to get in front of this appointment? I literally quadrupled my results from the very first one. And you, so first I always tell everybody have a six week action plan. That ability to work on your business not in it and work on your life not in it. How can I maximize on that experience to make my daughter feel like a million bucks? And by doing that, it's just living with deliberate intent, right? I always have had also a second piece of that is I've always had a dirty dozen. So a dozen people that work on the business not in it. So if you're in real estate, for instance, those people would be appraisers, home inspectors, mortgage companies, insurance companies, coaches, everybody that works on the periphery so they can keep you apprised of any changes, any opportunities, any windows of opportunity. But what I think I do differently that really makes a difference is I find out what's really important to them and I introduce myself, make sure they have an excellent reputation, what's really important to them, and I help them achieve their dreams. And so they, in turn, can't help but want to help me to achieve mine. And they keep me apprised of what's going on in the marketplace. And I stay connected with them on a regular basis. They're part of my six-week action plan. I make sure it's personal if I send them books or something that's going on in their personal life so that they can't help but want to help me succeed. Uh, that's number two. And I always do homework before I get there. You need to have a 30,000 foot view, a 2,000 foot view, a street level view, and a perspective on yourself. Understanding what you're good at, because it, we have a lane that we're really good at, and if we stick in that lane, we'll be really good. So, you know, from prospecting, you might have somebody that can't wait to, and is really social and they'll do really well at networking events, so they get to jump in more puddles with people, right? But then there might be someone else that's a problem solver, so they need to find out about that person well enough so that they can go in and be the solution and solve a problem, right? It's fitting your personality. And the more you do that and the better you do it and keep track of it, you'll become more and more effective every single time. I'm telling you, it works amazing. The number one thing I'm seeing is that lack of self-discipline. Only 5% of the population naturally has self-discipline. Most of us have to teach it to ourselves and we have to encourage that. And so you have to get into the right habits. My best suggestion for that, write down the top three things you want to accomplish tomorrow, tonight. And then tomorrow, go to number one. Don't go, don't do anything until you finish number one. Don't go to number two until you finish number one. And don't do anything else. We're Pavlov's dogs and we go on to our cell phone. It wakes us up and then we go to text and then we go to email and all of a sudden we're on Facebook and then we're on that slippery slope to Amazon and there's a chunk of the day that's gone, right? That's not healthy. But what is, is if I have a sense of accomplishment, I'm gonna stick with something if I did something and it worked and it went really well. So if I finish number one and I go to number two and then I finish number two and I go to number three, I have a sense of accomplishment that's actually gonna make me stick with it and it's gonna actually give me self-discipline. The turning of the corner was maximizing on every single opportunity. It was absolutely that. It didn't matter what I was doing of, um, you know, selling, selling real estate, how can I get in front of more people in less time? How can I touch more lives in less time? How can I maximize on this experience? I'll give you a great answer for here. Um, so I'm here and speaking obviously at, at, at this conference here, but I'm speaking again tonight for my company. And then I have two meetings tomorrow morning with people that could be potential dirty dozen that are gonna help me find more people for regions across the country. And I'm meeting with our suppliers to keep a really good relationship together. And a lot of times I even make sure that I slip in a little volunteer of getting an opportunity to speak to young girls or uh, that kind of thing when I'm in a marketplace. But I maximize on every single hour. And that 
has been the best to help for me throughout my entire career is how can I maximize on every one of those experiences? Who should I be inviting? Who should I be talking to? Who should I be learning from? What should I be reading? And the starting with the six week action plan that really does make a difference but then you start looking at things differently you're going to have an open house and all of a sudden you start thinking oh well if i have all these signs and i have an, a law of attraction to bring people in i'm going to have a hundred people in instead of hoping somebody's going to show up it gives you control of your own future one go back to uh, what it is you, why you wanted to do this in the first place because having a really good vision of what it is you're doing this for um, and most of us are motivated by people so if I'm doing this for my family or I'm doing this because I want to take them on a special trip or I'm doing it because I want to make a certain income to put my kids through school that vision in front of me all the time helps me to get out of bed and stick with it but every time I hit a wall I go and backtrack and I go back through what are the things that worked for me in the past when was the last time I was the most successful what did I do then that I'm not doing right now and it you actually find people that you should have been talking to or that you even missed out on opportunities and you'll find that within a couple of days, all of a sudden you're back on track.